everyone today. So today, Paranormal Kent, what a strange video we've got for you today. We're in Swanscombe, more appropriately, we're at St Peter and St Paul's Church, which is the oldest building in Swanscombe, which always happens to be the church, doesn't it? It's had a few refits since, etc. But I thought I'd tell you about this fantastic little story based around Swanscombe. Trust me, you're going to really want to hear this one. It's very strange and very unusual. So, I'll see you on the other side. Take care for now. One of the strangest stories to ever occur in Kent happened in 1211 AD in Swanscombe. But even weirder is that it is also being attributed to nearby Gravesend and also Bristol in Somerset, all in the same year, as well as the story being pretty much the same story in each instance. But let's back up, because for those not familiar with life in the 13th century, King John was on the throne using his force and will policy and that, that made him in his mind above the law, all foreshadowing the Magna Carta and the Baron's War. With that in mind, it's back to the event. A group came here for their usual Sunday service when they suddenly watched a strange ship drop anchor from the heavens, which became entangled around a gravestone. One of the crew jumped overboard and headed towards the anchor, moving as if swimming. Witnesses grabbed the stranger as he reached the ground. He struggled briefly before drowning, even though on dry land. The remaining crew in the ship severed the rope of the anchor and sailed away. The strange artifact was melted down and used to make the hinges on the local church doors. And yet being described as some sort of airship, this encounter has been made even stranger by the fact that any known airship or hot air balloon wasn't around until the late 1700s. So rumours are abound, some saying it was a time slip or even a UFO. But whatever the truth, it certainly makes for a very interesting story. Standing behind me is the church, the actual, the actual incident that took place here. It's kind of crazy that, to know that this is not only the oldest building in Swanscombe, but it's got such an amazing story to sort of go with it. So obviously we're standing behind the church. In fact, should we look at the hinges first? So we're assuming that these were the, these were the door hinges that they were talking about that they'd taken from the anchor of the uh, spaceship, I suppose we're going to call it for the moment. Um, you can see them in wonderful detail. Anyway, they're beautiful, they're beautiful for the door, any door frame, I suppose, door hinges. Uh, absolutely fascinating. Now, so I'm just going to put a few things in context. Standing right in front of us is the cemetery as well. And then, looking down, so if you see these sandy sort of colour, eat crew kind of colour buildings, there's about three of them in a row, if you can see that. They're sort of just slightly, almost just in front of, or just behind the uh, maintenance van. See those ones that are just in front of it down there. Um, that was where the blue anchor was, and obviously that pub's not here anymore. Um, and yeah, there we are. That's the fascinating story of the UFO encounter that happened uh, in the 13th century or the 1200s, I suppose we'll sort of say. Um, thank you as always for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. What an amazing story. To be fair for me, it's something that I've always wanted to sort of tick off my bucket list to actually explore and to have a look at. And the fact is that you don't need to actually go into the church itself to know what had actually been taken place here because if we look around you can look at the incredible building and that amazing steeple that this church has and the graveyard itself and the cemetery that's there it's full of amazing history anyway and I'm sure at some point I'll revisit the actual church itself but the story that goes with it this paranormal story 
what an amazing tale and I know what you're going to say there was lots of various different encounters of this type of ship that happened everywhere really but Swanscombe's story is probably one that will go through legend and myth and hopefully by making this video it will preserve that amazing bit of history and you never know you might be from Swanscombe and be like I didn't know about that so there you go hopefully that helped the immortal words of Phoenix history thank you as always for watching much love to all of you out there and i would see y'all very soon take care for now bye everybody bye